we are here to speak about Catholic priests and why are they so rapey to, um, these days? Okay, so so in case you have been living under a rock, as usual, you should know that there's been a lot of Catholic priest stuff in the news. And the reason why these people are in the news is because the Catholic priests seem to be constantly, you know, in these child sex abuse scandals every like five or 10 years. It's literally a pattern. Every five to 10 years, somebody gets caught or a, a church in specific gets caught having raped a whole bunch of little children. And then it's bad press for a couple of months. And then things go back to usual. Okay. And this video today, I don't care about the recent case. Uh, that doesn't pique my interest. What piques my interest is the discussion that needs to be had, which is why does it seem that Catholic priests in particular appear to be more rapey than Baptist preachers or, you know, Buddhist preachers or or the Muslim leaders. Like it seems to be Catholic priests have a special monopoly on like child rape. Uh and when I sit back and think about that, a couple of things cross my mind. First thing is, well, maybe they don't have a monopoly on um child rape it could just be that these other institutions don't seem to be getting caught in these stuff at, as much but i disagree with that i think in today's time with social media it would be extremely difficult to be any type of big ish church right and look there are a lot of big uh christian churches a lot of big baptist churches it is extremely difficult to be a big church and to not and, and to, to hide your sex scandal in today's time no way no how so i'm not buying that all right so, so that's that's not a valid excuse then it leads you to thinking about the fact that hey is there something about the catholic religion the way they practice their 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 sect of christianity that makes them susceptible to either the people who already like children joining those churches or the fact that something about the uh, the rules that the priests are given that makes them become these child abusers. And I think it's B. I think the Catholic priests, right, who are almost always male, I think they're exclusively male, but the Catholic priests, they, they're, 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 they are males, um, and they're forbidden from in, engaging in sexual activity. So people think think of nuns when they think about, you know, the, peop, the, the person in the Catholic religion who can't have sex, but it's not just a nun. It's the nun and it's the priest. They can have sex. They don't have sex. And I think you should be very, very, like, your eyes should be open of any doctrine or religion that tells you that you cannot engage in sexual activity under any circumstances, right? Now, full disclosure, I'm a Christian. I'm a Baptist, B Baptist Christian, right? Um, You know, the word tells us not to have sex before marriage. That's what the word says. Uh, I have had sex before marriage, and I probably will have sex again before marriage. We're not going to delve into why I believe that there's no issue having sex before marriage. But the doctrine of my religion also doesn't swear off sex. It says you should be married, but it doesn't swear off sex. Not, even, not for the priest, not for the preachers, not for the bishops, because you need to have sex. Um the Catholic priest need a sexual release. You cannot, as a man, go, you know, 20, 30 years of your life without any type of sexual release. Very few people are asexual, right? And asexual means that that's a person that has no uh like they don't they don't they're not attracted to women and they also aren't attracted to men. Very few people fit that, right? Very few. Most of us are sexual beings. If you don't have a way to express your sexuality in a healthy manner, it's going to come out in unhealthy ways, I believe. And since the Catholic religion is one of the only religions that that demands that their priests don't have sex, I think this is why you see all of this perversion. And pedophilia is a perversion. Um, and it's rampant. And then the fact that the Catholic priests also have, also have the confessional portion of it as well which is you you know that if you go to a priest you can tell your sins and the priest can't um tell what you told to 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 to, the, to anybody and they also can't be compelled either by the law uh, i'm sure there's been exceptions but that's the general rule 
that aspect of that religion as well contributes to the child uh, rapey problem because no one gets, no one is held accountable. So you, you, you might have priests out there actually telling other priests during a confessional, hey, I touched this, this boy, or I have this feeling about this, you know, about sleeping with children. And then it's, yo, well, you know, just pray and be disciplined and, you know, hey, Mary, this, whatever. No, that, that's not actually doing anything. You're not reporting this person if they commit to a crime. You're not um sending them to a special therapist because then he'll know that you told on him and he'll never come back to your confessional. And then word, word will get around your church. Hey, this guy here doesn't really honor the rules. So then no one comes to confessional. So I think the religion actually needs like to relook at some doctrine here and really examine your biblical book uh, and see where does it say that you know, only the the preacher can hear the sense. Now, I realize this is why we have all of these different sects of religion to begin with, but it's also why I believe that some that some religious uh, sects are extremely more um, valid than others because they're able to operate in, in modern society uh, because they're responsible and also, of course, the overwhelming majority of Catholic churches probably don't have abuse going on this is the minority but it is happening frequently which means that there that this religion has a particular problem that they need to deal with it's the same way i feel about um islam islam today at this point in history has a particular problem with uh a minority of their people being radicalized right at this point in history that's something that they have to deal with that is particular to their religion. And I feel the same way for the Catholic religion, right? The same way. They need to get this thing taken care of and re-examine uh, certain practices in their religion. But to all of you out there who uh, aren't religious or who are Catholic churchgoers, you need to ask yourself, why would God put the burden of abstinence indefinitely on any man? The answer to that question is he wouldn't.